Need something? Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Entirely. I was as devoted to my studies as I was to my training. Each creche contains a Saithisk purification device. So I learned from the writings in the Kaleer Library. The library was a gift from Vlakith herself that we were understanding. Countless scholars roam the astral sea and beyond, observing the ways of our lessers, exploring planes so distant order turns to chaos and cold fires rage. The planes are ever quaking and their peoples ever shifting. The Githyanki possess an eternity of knowledge. Yet we still collect more. Infinities upon infinities. Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil's Ariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. All right, what else is on your mind? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. I left him with his uncles. Five years on and he's flourishing. If only every child was so lucky. I mourn the ones I could never save, whose cries I never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. By all means.
How can I help? Your enterprising approach to my problem is most encouraging. But it is a delicate process to keep my condition stable. I do not yet need to consume an item, but keep it close by. It will not be too much longer. Something the matter? I don't know what you mean. It's nothing, really. You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Saluna, her teachings and her followers. <coughs> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed, so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. All right. As I said, Shah is my patron, my mistress. Goddess of darkness and loss. I assume you've heard of her? Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No, I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. 
And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. Don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well, blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, bulls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. Amazing. 
My mind is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. <laughs> Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> We can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. Quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Go ahead. I'm listening. We all have our burdens. One way or the other. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. <laughs> yes, and... No. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, 
They completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Maybe. But there won't be any more midnight surprises. I can promise you that. You seem to know a good deal about our condition, Dave. Everything, really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. 